So thank you everybody for joining. Uh, this is day one of the Ujiria Dojo. Um, and so I'm going to spend a little bit of time taking you through what we're going to cover, um, but talk a little bit about the dojo and, and, and you know, where we are with it. So um, this is very much um, an experimental dry run. So many of the sections in the Nigeria Dojo are, uh, the ink is still very much still wet. So uh, we're asking you to um, to look out for errors and please let us know if you see something, even if it's a spelling mistake or a link not working or whatever, because what we'd like ultimately is for this dojo to be um, suitable for anybody to pick up and use, um, you know, as, as they're coming to the project. So we'd like this to be self-study. Uh, the final self-study version will be a combination of um, these, the recordings that we take during the session, as well as the web content, uh, which is why you'll see we're using very few PowerPoint charts um, and we, we're taking advantage of a lot of the documentation that was already on the Ujiri website. What the dojo is trying to do is to take you to the sort of main information as much as possible so that when you are doing your own projects, uh, you're aware of where all the main material is. So it's, it's, it's more about teaching you to fish than actually, you know, uh, giving you, giving you fish. That's the idea. So, uh, the other thing you'll notice is that in the early sections, we take you through click by click. Um, partly it's because the tools might be unfamiliar to you or, um, um, you know, we, we, we often hit right at the beginning when you're actually getting the base platform running, you often hit differences in everyone's machine. So we're trying to, um, to make that first stage as simple as possible. And then as you get through the day, um, rather than telling you exactly what to do, we will describe what to do and you'll be applying the knowledge that you learned in a previous session to do it. So, so think of the sessions when you're doing them. Don't just sort of click the buttons and 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 click thumbs up to say, yeah, I've done it. Um, think about um, you know, look at look at what you're you're um, doing because then you will um, you'll find the later sections easier to do. So the other thing we've done is we've color coded the sections, and um, and if you're a skier, you'll recognize the colors, and if you don't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you just have to remember what they are. So so basically. The green is a beginner session. You don't need to be a developer. You, um, it's just the sort of overview type material. Um, the next one is an intermediate session. So this is really assuming that you have some technical skill um, and you can um, and, and, and you should be able to follow along. So this is roughly around running a, a Jiria. We reckon is a sort of blue run. Um, then we get into the advanced sessions and these are for people who um, want to get a little bit deeper. Um, and then finally, we have the black, which is for our people who want to become maintainers. So this is the, the, the deeper detail. Um, and even if you think, well, I don't want to be a maintainer, you might want to listen along. You don't necessarily have to try and do some of the exercises. So uh, the purpose is very much to enjoy yourselves, uh, do what, what's interesting, um, let us know what you think. We'd be delighted to hear. Um, and I have um, many of the maintainers on the Ajiri project online as well uh, to help you with um, issues around different operating systems. Because one of the things I have to apologize for is that this first version is very Mac centric. So if you're not running Macs, um, we have experts in Linux and Windows also on the call um, and they will help you. And then over time from this uh, knowledge that we gain from 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 your experiences, we will be updating the dojo to cover the other operating systems as well. So it's the reason the reason that it's it's Mac centric is that um, we all run Macs typically um, in the team, and that's what that's why we have the most experience there. Um, okay, so with no further ado, let's look at the agenda. So day one, as I say, is all about learning to run Nigeria, um, and there's an awful lot of content because there's. Nigeria does a lot of things. I mean, what it's trying to do is to manage the complexity of integrating various different types of tools, runtimes, um, and their view of metadata and actually making that exchange work. So we've brought the complexity inside Nigeria and have tried to organize it so that for each consumer, it's fairly simple. But if you take the hood off Nigeria of and you try to start learning how to run it and use it yourself, obviously going to see that variety that Ajiri has picked up on. 
So you can see we're going to do a little bit of an introduction um, and a bit about the project overview. And that will go on um, until one o'clock my time. So the first hour will be uh, presentations and I'll show you around the, the GitHub site and things like that. Then we'll have a break. And actually in the um, project introduction section, there are links to download two of the pieces of technology that you need for the follow on session. It's up to you whether you start that download now or, or at that time, I mean, or you go or you wait until we get to the session. It, it, it's really up to you in terms of how much how much time you think you're going to need. Uh, then we're going to go through and we're going to use um, Docker to set up and run the Ajiria platform. And then we're going to do some experiments on it um, to see how it works. Uh, and um, that that um, and, and we're using Docker just because it makes the, it simplifies the environment for you uh, while you're learning. Uh, we're then going into a section on running metadata servers and um, the Docker environment is great for one server because it creates that nice, perfect, isolated environment. But when you actually want to do integration, it gets a bit limited. So in the second section, we're going to switch to Docker Compose. Um, and this allows us to, to bring up a set of servers that are linked on the same network. So we can do some integration testing. And then the final se session, we're going to introduce even more complexity. Um, and then we're going to switch to our hands-on labs, um, probably running on Kubernetes, but it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, and there you can start to really see Ajiria running as you would expect um, users to actually use it. So the first section is very much about an administrator's view of Ajiria and how you run it. And then this final section will start to see the real, you know, the, 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 the real user's experience um, in, that, in that process. And then we finish with a little bit about how you connect to the community and things. So that's day one. Um, day two um, is about making changes. So you're going to go through an exercise and actually make a, a change to our live master repository, which will stay there until you choose to delete it or um, it'll stay there forever to prove that you made a contribution. Um, and we will take you through step by step um, in terms of how in terms of how we do this. Um, and you'll see that that actually making a contribution we've got is green, um, although there are different types of contribution that require more um, more knowledge. So um, we have in this section here, we actually describe the different levels of knowledge you need for different types of contribution. But there are many contributions that you can make um, from day one. So uh, that's why that's green. Um, and then um, the uh, the next section is. Um, it, our final section is actually more discussion. So we won't be running um, Ajiria on, in the final section, but we're going to have um, sort of uh, group discussions. So we're going to have some advocates um, um, to talk about um, hints and tips around becoming an advocate. Then we're going to have another session on becoming a maintainer, and we'll have the maintainers online, and they'll be giving you their perspective on 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 um, how. Uh, um, you know, on, on the sort of things that you could do to, to help you move up that, that level. And then finally, uh, the final session, um, we're going to take you through some of the uh, deeper architecture um, decisions and structure that we have in Nigeria um, that, um, that, that, that you really need to know if you're going to make um, sort of very fundamental changes to, to the way that Nigeria is. And then our final session um, is just for anybody to join. Um, we're probably going to have a drink um, and it's really just to, to uh, get to know people and, uh, and relax after this very grueling three days. Um, so that's the, um, uh, the, the outline. We will try to keep to the timing so that you can come and go on the different sessions. Um, they are guesses though, um, in terms of how long things take. So for example, um someone like like um you know, myself or other maintainers uh we would probably rattle through these sessions very quickly but we try to allow plenty of time for um you to uh, you know to actually look at things and really think about it um one tip is that this jumps around the way the Ajiria site so i've tried to make use of as much material that we already have so i would recommend booking bookmarking this top level um 
URL so you can get back to the front page because I'm sure um, we haven't quite got the linking right. So um, uh, that's that's just 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 so that you can navigate. The other thing is as you go in to a particular session. So this is the running Nigeria. Um, and you can see it's got multiple colours in it, and each of those sections then break down into other sections, which breaks down into other sections. That's why this session takes so long. Um, so um, try and keep in your mind where you are in your thing, and, and use the back button to move back up and down the hierarchy as you as you look through. Uh, you'll see links throughout the text, and that's to encourage you to. Um, so let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's go and have a look. So um, uh, here we are. So so for example, when you go to the link, you'll see more information and then come back and get the next link and things. So, 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 so as I say, step backwards and forwards. I've tried to put links at the end to take you back to the right place, but they don't always, they're not always going to take you exactly to the right place. So the back button is probably better to use. So any questions at this stage? Um, otherwise, I will switch to the presentation and um, we'll talk a little bit about Algeria. <laughs>